Hello guys, today we'll discuss about uh, the problem clone binary tree with random pointer. So we will get a, a binary tree is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer which could point to any node in the tree or null. So we had to concentrate on two things. The first that we are given a binary tree. Second, it, every node contains uh, some random pointer which can point to any other node or it can point to null. What is expected? We had to return a deep copy of the tree. Okay, so how the input will be given to us. So it will be an array of array. So on the first index, on zero index, you can see that this is one node. Its value is one and its random pointer is pointing to null. So second one, second is also indexed. That is pointing to some other node inside. So this one is pointing to null. On left, it is pointing to null. That null is actually an index one. You can see here, this is index one. Uh, on the right, it is pointing to another node whose value is four and which is on index two. So you can see this is index two and its value is four. And that random on the left, it is another node whose value is seven. And on the right, there is null. This random here, one. this is the one which is pointing to another node, which is on index three. So that random is pointing at their node, which is on index three. And this node value is seven and its random is pointing to the node, which is on index zero. Here we go. All right, so let's go and we understand that how we can implement this question. Uh, let's see that how we can approach this problem. First, we come to know that we have to visit all node. What is our observation? We have to visit all nodes because we have to make a clone. Because we have to make a clone. Second, uh, let's suppose if I visit this node. For this node, if I have, this is a binary tree and uh, for left for sh and right, to populate left and right, I can go with either BFS or I can go with DFS also. Uh, so, okay, we can go with uh, for left and for right, we can go with either BFS or DFS. Now, the problem is with this random node. That random node on this first node can point another node which might be at the end. So when we come across such problem, for sure we have to keep some state so that we can assign him back. And for this particular thing, we can um, use a hash map that where we can put the key as a node and uh, as a value, we can keep uh, its cloned node. Now, there is one more observation for sure. If you will go in DFS or BFS and when we will come across this node where the, this random is pointing to our root node and that can again make a cycle. To handle this cycle, we can for sure make, uh, we can use our map where we will find mm, the key. We will return that node back instead of moving further. So that problem would look like this. We will make some node. Once we will visit this node, we will keep its copy as one. And for random, for left and right. So for left, we will make a recursive call. For right, we will make another recursive call. And for random also, we will make another recursive call. And once we will going with these calls for sure we'll also take care that if map contains a um, node already already some node then for sure we will return it back so let's see that how we can implement this in the code welcome back so how we can solve this problem we'll go with our understanding so first we will make a map which will be a hash map where the node will be the key and node copy would be as a value. So let's import it. We import scala dot collection dot mutable mutable hash map. Okay, we get the map 
and now we would say that once we visit some node we will to find this left and right we'll go with uh, with DFS we say def DFS we will send him some node it might be we have to change some parameter we will see that we will send him some node and uh, we would expect that node copy it will return at the end fully cooked not copy so if we will get node copy with everything cloned so we'll return it so we, we can call that function at the end with the root now once we call this function with the root let's see what will be the case so we are on the root node so if that root node is null we will return null else if let's suppose some child node random pointer send us back to some parent we will see that if we have already added that node in our map map contains contains um that node we are visiting right now so return the same node map root else that node is not null that node is not in our map in that case what we will do we will make our uh, as per understanding we'll make half cooked copied copied node we will say new node copy and we will put the value here that will be root dot value now we will also add it in our map map we will add it here in our map root as a key and copied node as a value now for the copied left to be populated we will say with dfs we can send root dot left so whatever on your left you will get some node copy and that will be our copied left for copied right we'll say dfs root dot right for copied dot random also we'll say dfs root dot random we don't have fear that if we are going to the root node and some random node is pointing back to the root node so for sure that map will return uh, from here we won't go in uh, in a cycle and at the end once everything is completed everything is cloned we can send it back um hopefully that will work let's see if we run the code and we get the answer great thanks